and welcome to Lil Wolfie's channel. Today we're going to be playing the second episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to be just trying to finish off the tutorial in this episode um, because the first part of this game is pretty much fixed. So hopefully we can finish off that episode um, with moving on to the next location. So I hope you enjoy, I'm going to try and get into this so this video is about 30 minutes long instead of 40, um, yeah so hope you enjoy, if you do enjoy please hit that like button and subscribe, um, like I've said previously, followers, fans, everything, I appreciate everything, so please just, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and a follow down below. Um, my social media will be also linked in the description down below along with equipment that I use to record these videos for you. So let's get on with the game. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. <laughs> Starved to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on. This way. How are you? So, oh, it dog? looks like we're getting introduced okay. with um, hunting. Hand. No. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. Oh, watch it. That ride north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm. Bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but 
Some of the ground uncovered here. Whoa! Let's look down this way. Gia! Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. <sighs> Has deer been here? Recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them up. down. Move quietly and slowly. You see the tracks? I think so. So, <clears throat> we're in India. Focus. For the camp. There's one. Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Take the shot. Getting that deer from there. There's another one. Gonna be freezing now. Well done. I 
that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. So oh, the deer's killed, put it on the back of the horse and ride home. I think the end of that mission is then, if I can remember properly. Not bad, boy. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the mission with Bill is the one where you rob the train or not. So if it is, I'm going to leave that episode for um, next time. I'm going to leave that mission because it's a bit of a long mission and I'd rather do that mission in detail than rushing the mission so that the episode finishes at 30 minutes instead of... It's about six hours. Okay, boy. So, Let's go. Red pony, meet with Charles. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Uh, so what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. Not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Yeah. Watch out! Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Sorry about that. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. My alarm was about to go off. 
so. Cut up here, off the trail. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you can run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Hey! 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Hey. Yeah. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hugged me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. All right, we're probably taking some gear in. <clears throat> it's about to be skinned, so if you don't like the content like that, just skip a part um, till after I've skinned the deer. Um, it is a little bit gory and, yeah, not that nice to watch if you are squeamish or anything like that. So, yeah, well, well, well. just a heads up. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. 
You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, yet you dumped on the floor there. Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> so these uh, little challenger things, we are going to do some of them um, in this Let's Play because it's all part of the game. So I'm going to try and do as many of the challenges as possible. So some episodes might not be storyline missions, some episodes might be completing one of these challenges or starting one of these challenges to complete during the stories. Um, yeah, there's going to be little bits put into Red Dead Redemption. <coughs> Sorry, my throat keeps going on and off all day. So yeah, there's going to be a few little different things that go into Red Dead, such as hunting, missions, um, these little side mission achievement things, um, having a look at some of the um, easter eggs in the game. There's a few cool easter eggs in the game that I've seen um, on YouTube that I really want to have a look at myself, so what's not better than to let you guys look at it with me. Um, this episode is going to end here um so we're gonna have a little bit of a, a look at where we are um and then i'm going to end the episode and probably the next episode i'll do the mission with bill Days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party, <laughs> probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks have been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. Nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Home <gasps> always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest. 
Okay, so that was the second episode of Red Dead Redemption. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we'll get right back into this quest, mission, whatever you want to call it. Um, when I come back on the next episode. I hope you enjoy this episode. If you do, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Really means a lot. Really helps me out a lot. Um, yeah, the, like I said, we're going to be focusing a lot about majority of the content of the game. Um, 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 a few little bits of achievement gameplay and stuff like that so i i'm going to try and bring as much content to you as possible for red dead redemption again i hope you enjoyed and catch you later peace out wolfpack